Okay, this is Michael and Bobby, and today we're going to show you a DIY trick. We're going to show you how to take this old board and make it look like this. So stay tuned, and we'll show you that trick. It's pretty easy. It's just one by six type pickets for fence. They're like a, I think we paid a dollar, what, dollar forty six. $1.62, $1.62, something like that at Lowe's. And this is a natural color, and they're covered in sawdust. They're rough cut. And uh, they're way cheaper than any other 1x6s you can get. And then, um, like I said, the torch is just like 19 bucks at Walmart. Or any hardware place. Or any other hardware place, yep. Pretty much if you already have one. Okay, so what you want to do is get you one of these cheap $20 Walmart torches. And you just want to fire it up. It's pretty easy. Instructions on the back. Just turn the gas. Click it a couple of times. It'll come on. And there's a lot of different patterns you can do. But basically what we like to do is just run it over the grain. And slow down when we get to the parts where we want it to darken up. And then move along and get faster on the parts we want to be lighter. So we'll sit here and watch Bobby do it a couple more minutes. And we'll fast forward through the boring parts and we'll get right to the stain. Alright, once you get your good pattern, you get her browned up, streaked up, burned up, caught on fire, whatever else you want to do to it, you got to pick out a stain color. So what we use for our project is Thompson's Water Seal Natural Cedar Color. Now they ain't nothing special, it's just what they had on hand at Lowe's and it was $16 a gallon. So it's pretty cheap for this project, but you can use whatever you want. Okay, so here we are with the next step of the project. Now we've already showed you the type of thing we're using and the method is pretty easy. All we're doing is just a rub. Um, this stuff's pretty wet when it comes out of the jug anyway. So all we're doing is really just rubbing back and forth and rubbing it in and making sure that the, word, the wood soaks it all up because it's really thirsty. And um, the torching process helps with two things. Not only does it help make it look a lot better, but like I said, this stuff is rough cut. And uh, it's got a lot of burrs and stuff on it, and it's rough, real splintery feeling. And when you run that torch across it, it helps get rid of some of that too and smooth it out. At the same time, I still don't recommend doing the wet rag method. You can try it, but I'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot of peels because it's still a little too rough to be rub rub like rubbing a rag over. But you could do a wet sponge or a paint roller method and get the same um, the, the same dry look. towel, but you still may get peels from that. Anyway, this is how we're doing it, and... Um, You've seen the finished product here. Anyway, we hope you enjoy it. Try it out. Drop us a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, people. We got to go.